Just warning you, in a good mood. And largely pain-free, so I've got no idea how things are going. Alien hand syndrome. Set off by a stroke, or is there a pony in the backyard? Split brain. Right hemisphere controls the left and... Is making life miserable. Non-logical thinkers often do. Current issue isn't the split brain. The surgery corrected... You're dissing the right hemisphere? Most people who have this operation don't even notice they're missing anything. Left brain has language, arithmetic, rationality. Right brain is a mute loser. Right brain is more aesthetically oriented, has greater facial recognition. I couldn't have been a plastic surgeon without it. Yes, and where would junior high be without our ability to judge people on aesthetics? Right brain's also more aware of the present moment, our place in the universe. It's a universal daisy chain of peace and love throws buns at people. His present symptoms could mean autoimmune disease, nasolacrimal tumor, an infection, or just a cold. Good morning, sunshine. We got a brand new toy. You wanna play? We need to talk. Great. I love euphemisms. By euphemism, I mean when you say something, it means something else. Begin eliminating. Search the home. The, uh, you know, like, Locking the barn door after the horse has put his face between your breasts for an hour and a half. I'm your boss. You're an employee. Well, I'm not normally into role playing, but if you want to. People who get close to you get hurt. That's a fact. You're also a valued doctor in this hospital. That's another fact. From now on, we're going to focus on the second fact. So, this isn't you freaking out over last night? This isn't an emotional decision. I'm just giving you the rules. You can either accept them or leave. I slept with Cuddy. After she helped me detox from Vicodin. I've been clean for almost 24 hours now. Okay. Thought I'd mention it. Wow. Wow. One for each. That's what she said. Ah. Uh, How's the pain? She's probably got some bruising. Yeah, I get it. You're a stud. This is serious, House. I feel better than I did four hours ago. Four hours from now, I feel better than this. The other wow. You were sober. She was sober? Clean and sober and hot. Wow. This is fantastic. How are you going to screw it up? Several good options. Unfortunately, I don't think she's going to give me the pleasure she left before I woke up. And five minutes ago, she told me that I'm just an employee. Ha. Huh. Yes. Well, either she's actually in love with you and scared, or she realized last night was a gigantic mistake. You were needy and vulnerable. She was maternal. You think she jumped me out of pity? No, I'm saying whatever is going on, you need to talk to her. Absolutely. Wilson says we need to talk. We talked. I agree. This has clearly gotten past the talking stage. What? Proof. You didn't talk to her, did you? Yeah, if I talked, she'd have lied, I'd have lied. Even though two negatives make a positive, I thought thermal imaging photos seemed simpler. Note how many more heated areas appear after less than a minute with me. So it's either love or possibly rage. Don't talk to her. I have no plans to talk to her. Manipulation is in your genetic code. You think I'm making a mistake, you move into correct. You are making a mistake. She lied to me. Either last night or today, I need to find out which and why. And clearly, thermal imaging is the way. This isn't a case. You're not looking for a diagnosis. If this matters at all to you, please, for once in your life, be an adult. I want permission to do a liver biopsy. We're looking for sarcoidosis. Fine. What do you mean, fine? What do you mean, what do I mean? 
Do you mean that because a liver biopsy is not a test that by any stretch of the imagination could be considered risky? So asking my permission is essentially wasting my time and you're wondering what my reaction to that will be? Yes. Are you trying to make me angry? Yes. Do your biopsy and also do your clinic hours. I'm blowing off my clinic hours. Really? Let's see how that goes. Still not angry. Try again later. I think you're using your relationship with Cuddy as a replacement for drugs. You should be in more pain so soon into detoxing, but your body's full of romantic endorphins. And on top of that, you create this distraction of looking for proof. I think I should stop and let the pain flood back. Cuddy is not a Vicodin substitute. Quite the opposite. You have to wait for her to be ready. Great advice. You pretend that I'm gonna do that. You've made two major changes in your life. Not a time anyone's judgment is at its best. Didn't you used to argue that my judgment would be better off drugs? Admit it. You're curious why I want to make her angry. I'm sure it's convoluted, wrong, and stupid. You're dying to know what I found on her coffee cup. No, because- Oxytocin. Oxytocin. The chemical involved in emotional bonding. Her lips say no, her hormones say, oh my God, yes, more. Now, for you to know her levels were elevated, you'd need a baseline to compare them with. I paid the guy in the gym to retrieve one of her water bottles from the trash. Love inspires us to greatness. So, I need to make her lose her temper, which breaks her delusion, which demonstrates to me and to her that there is something underneath this facade. And then what happens? She admits everything and falls into your arms? That's outcome one. Outcome two is she kills me. I think it's 50-50 right now. Great. I thought you'd say that. You're committing yourself to something, to someone. I mean, childish in a way, but ultimately, great. Assuming, are you absolutely sure you want this to succeed? You never answered my question. Relax. Our friendship is not doomed. Thank God, but my question was, do you really want Cuddy or is this just another challenge? You're worried that once I'm in a relationship, you and me will be over. Hey, I'm actually for this. I think this is great. But if you're serious and you don't treat it seriously, then you will get hurt. And if you don't accept that, then accept she will get hurt. I was told it was your birthday. I understand. I'm so, so sorry. I know. Clearly there was a mix up. Have a nice day. she look angry? If you're standing there when she looks up here, 